Hey, Michael Zlapsky here for Tip Tuesday, and when you're using the brand new Red Giant Geo, uh, by default it shows a sphere there. Now, you can hit Choose Model here, and uh, there's a bunch of models that come preloaded with it. I got a bunch of System 4D files here, and a bunch of primitives here. Um, but you can also add in your own models to quickly access here. Just hit this little button and you know browse to wherever you've got models. But you don't have to do that because every model you add in here will always be in this little choose 3D model box. And if you're using Geo a lot like I am, uh, you'll have a lot. Uh, but you don't need to put it in there to add a model to your scene. You just need to import one to your project. Uh, and you know, while we're at it, we'll uh, import some of the texture files we're gonna be using. And we're going to drag all these things into our project here and turn off the visibility of all of them. And then in Geo, all you have to do is pick, you know, want a custom layer and I'm gonna pick this OBJ model here. Uh, you'll see Geo loads it in uh, right away here. Nice and fast. This model is a not an optimized model. It's a 450,000 polygons. So it's a, pretty, it's a pretty hefty model, but as you see, uh, Geo is handling it just fine, <laughs> as if uh, as if it's nothing. Uh, and then uh, for the textures, I'm gonna say the base color needs to be our diffuse map here. And our roughness will crank all the way up because we're gonna be using this glossiness uh, material here. Probably need to invert that because it's a glossiness material instead of roughness, but we won't worry that right now. And for our bump map, we'll choose our normal map. And yes, it's set as normal map, not grayscale height map. Uh, and everything's uh, everything's great. So there you go. Uh, a quick, easy way to get models in here without clogging up your model browser.